Alright, back on example one, this time we find the volume of this composite solid and volume is actually just about always much easier than surface area to calculate. So we're going to enjoy this more. Alright, um, just, just like last time we want to um, separate the shape into parts. We've got shape one, shape two and shape three. So we want to find the volume of each shape and add them up. Uh, also, like the last one, our radius was 3.5, and that radius applies for all three shapes. So what are our formulas? So we've got our hemisphere here. Now, a sphere has the volume formula 4 thirds pi r cubed, and this is for shape 1. And we need to write divide 2 because it's a hemisphere. Okay, and then for volume for the... For shape 2, this is a cylinder, and we mentioned before, this could be either area times height, or you can say pi r squared times height for the volume of a cylinder. All right, and then the third one is the volume of a cone, which is one third area times height, or just like the cylinder, we can write it as one third pi r squared times height. Okay, let's change the blue pen now and work out each volume. So volume 1, which is 4 thirds times pi times r cubed. Now r is 3.5, so 3.5 cubed and we're going to divide it by 2 at the end. So let the calculator do all the working out here. 4 thirds times pi times 3.5 cubed divide 2 is to one decimal place 89.8 and that's centimeters cubed this time let's look at volume of shape 2 which is our cylinder and it says to go pi times r squared or 3.5 squared times height and for this cylinder the height is 12 let's do that pi times 3.5 squared times 12 and that comes out to 461.8 one decimal place centimeters cubed and then now we'll do the cone which is one third times pi times r squared 3.5 squared times height which for the cone is 6 all right Let's work that one out. 1 divided 3 or 1 third times pi times 3.5 squared times 6. And that comes out to, I'll well, actually round, so it means my pen stopped working, uh, 77.0 when we round it to one decimal place. And now to find the total volume, we just add all these up. So 89.8 plus 461. 0.8 plus 77.0 equals 89.8 so 80, plus 461.8 plus 77.0 and we get 628.6 centimeters cubed. Should have written that here as well.